It is Mario Romanelli here getting ready to start another live stream with College Football 25, but this one a little special. This is the final uh, regular season game for Ball State. We have completed a full season after this game. Uh, interesting news that I did find out, though, that uh, we actually did make a bowl. We made a bowl right here against South Alabama. Now, I would imagine if I win or if I lose, this could possibly change. So this is just a projection as of the current situation that we have. But as of right now, this is who I would be playing in a bowl. So I did make a bowl. After all is said and done, uh, now I want to lock this up for sure. I want to make sure that I don't lose my opportunity here to uh, to get to a bowl game. So I might as well just win out, right? If anything, maybe I'll even improve the bowl game that I'm in. Who knows? But uh, with that being said, we've got a great matchup here. I'm going to bring it up here right now. Of course, I shrunk that way down. But anyways, what we can look at here, um, Ohio Bobcats outrank me on everything. So if you're looking here, you can see they are a 74 overall. I'm a 73. They're a 75 on offense. I'm a 74. They're a 74 on defense. I'm a 73. <laughs> So they literally outscore me, outrate me, whatever you want to say, on every projection coming into this game. But you know what, guys? I'm coming in with some confidence. Um, like I say, I've been playing really well with the Michigan Wolverines, which in turn gave me some confidence to come back with Ball State. And uh, so I'm really excited to finish this season out on a good note against a, a fairly, you know, matched up team, a team that technically is better than me um, we come in with the same record of six and five and so this will be a good way to finish it out and then of course to move on to the bowl game and see how I can perform in the bowl game look if I win here and then if I win in the bowl game that actually ends up being a pretty good season that would be a record of seven and five and then winning a bowl on top of it so I still have a lot to play for here. And really, um, I think if, if I finish seven and five and win a bowl, 
then I definitely think my coaching uh, is fine. I think I'll definitely get another year with Ball State. And then, like I say, who knows what the offseason is going to bring? It's going to bring uh, probably a lot of changes, maybe some transfers, and, and we'll tackle all of that when we get there. But for right now, just looking at what's in front of me, I really could have written a better script here because this is a very good matchup. I'm glad I'm not playing somebody that's like w way below me or even way above me. Now, I, if it was way above me, I'd, of course, want to beat them and, and send a message as well. But I think just with how my season has progressed and how it's gotten, you know, ups and downs and all that. But really, I'm, I'm finishing on a strong note. So to have a team coming in that's rated a little bit above me, I think is the right thing. I think it's going to really test me out and let me see if I can grind one out here. One more win. And I honestly think I can. So with all that being said, um, let's not waste any more time. Let's just get right to it here. Let's go to the field. Uh, real quick, though, just want to thank everybody for tuning in, uh, whether you're watching on Twitch, on YouTube, on Kick, on the website, heavyhitternetwork.org, wherever you are watching from, thank you. Now, to the field. Welcome to Peden Stadium, Athens, Ohio, home to the Bobcats of Ohio U. We're looking forward to a after all the ups and downs of this season, guys, it actually has kind of flown by. It's been a pretty quick season. Can't believe we're already here. It is more importantly a celebration. Senior day. As we'll see a squad from the back. The Ball State Cardinals. Squaring off with another team from the back. The Ohio Bobcats. 48 Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis. David Pollock and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. Want to thank everybody that checked out last night's streams very good viewership over on rumble which are of course the post live shows but uh like i say that's why i do it because you know a lot of people can't just jump on on during the live broadcast but still want to view the show and uh definitely the rumble numbers are showing that and the website as well so very happy to see that Glad you guys are enjoying the streams. Like I always say, definitely tell your friends about us. Good run there. Well, it's plays like that that will help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook. Got his man in the middle. That one could really put this drive into high gear as they have a first down at the 37. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Single back formation and they give it to it. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. Dropping back. It's Kelly using his feet to buy time. Oh, shit. Fires in the trap and picked off. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. So now the offense is going to have to regroup a turnover on the first drive of the game. Mm. Can bruise that confidence a little bit. No doubt about it. Not the way I wanted to start. Just jump the route. Nothing you can do when I let go of that ball. My guy was open. When the ball travel time, DB closed the gap, jumped the route. There we go. Run game is good. Balance is good. Now listen, if the run game isn't good, then you got to pass the football a little bit more. But sometimes you got to keep them honest, take them chunk by chunk. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll try the run. Good. And the defense holds for good, good, good. At all on that play. How about the defender being a heat seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Fires to the middle. Yeah, it's nice and hit. Nice hit. Over him, 
back the ball to the ground. All right. Down coming up. The Respond well after the interception. The no harm, no foul. Now let's uh, clean up this offense here. And the punt will hit at the seven, and they can't corral it. It goes into the end zone. It'll come out to the 20. Ball State takes over the football, and the Cardinal offense headed out. After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. No doubt. And Paul, good. Said that you on the after so the run game is definitely uh, looking good early on. Two big runs already in this game. Nice. Make it three big runs. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again, right? It's been really hard for this offense in this game to run the football, but they finally break off a big run there. That could be the play they need to really Man, he is running in bunches right now. Wow. First down, physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football and create balance. And, and right here, just choose up another first down. Gives you another chance to maybe continue. Uh oh. Dang it. On him and a heart beating down he goes. That defender is a matchup nightmare for any offensive line in the block. He's got athleticism, he's got length, he's got flexibility. He put it all on display on that side. Uh oh. Pressure. Come on, guys. And the defense gets Jeez. Jeez. Unbelievable. Neither guy was touched. Got as much as I could. Fourth and six. You know what, guys? I'm going for it. Feel pretty good. I just, I gotta pray that I get good coverage or good uh, protection here, but I think the play is here if I can just get protection. Or I'll just take it myself. Even better. Even better. Alright. Yeah, I think you're just wow. the experience this guy has, right? He's so poised that initially he's flushed out of the pocket, nothing's open, and he doesn't panic. He's not throwing it away. He's not sliding early. He just another seven yards there. Isn't. And he's able to attack that space with his speed and get a positive play. Good spot after that seven yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Looking to throw, it's Kelly. He wants it all. Dude. Oh. They took a shot at the end zone and he almost picked it off. It'll be third down. Man, what, what a rough start for this quarterback. Already throwing one interception, throwing another ball of hearts way. They got a third and three here. Settle him down a little bit, maybe give him some easier throws because his decision making so far has not been good. Got it. First down. Oof, just got it. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. On the run, it's Horton. Fights his way ahead. They get him down after a pickup of three. They'll mark it at the 12. Looks as if we have an injury. Second and seven here. We'll take a break to check him out. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He's looking to throw. Get it. Thank you. And he's into the end zone. There we go. Touchdown, Ball State. That was a drive. Holy cow. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. That's a play that through the season I've just gotten more and more comfortable with. And I never really thought much about it when I looked at it in the playbook because it looks like it's just like a three-yard dump off. But it actually gets about seven to eight yards. And he's generally open on that play. It's usually a pretty easy gimme for plays. Uh, muscle cramps will return. Okay, so we're good. Um, but yeah, so... That's a play that's definitely gotten a lot more reps out of me as the season's progressed. 
and I was very confident when I saw where I was on the field to, to try it then. Mm. And sure enough, it worked. So. Being about seven. Will that be it? Yeah, it'll be it. All right, one quarter down. Start the quarter offense about to snap it on second down. Give to the running back. Tackled at the 29. Let's give him five on that one. Yeah, I don't care if I get it by two, by 20, by 30, by four. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick. Nice. Four yard loss there. Pressure was coming. Board, but when they blow it up nice. Like that, the defense is going to win every time. Mm -hmm. We're trying to set up the screen pass to the running back. Just nowhere to go after he caught the football. The defense completely swarmed around him, and that's a loss. The give out of the gun. Get him. Thank you. So third and 11 now. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous, and the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. Let's see what call they have on third and long from the 28. Black 14. Black 14. To the air, it's Navarro trying to get behind the defense. Nice knockdown there. Forcing the incomplete pass with the deflection. Defense is looking good. Line up to Defense is absolutely looking this good. Will be the second time they've had to kick it away. <laughs> Come on, dude. Bearcats That's going to be a first down, I believe. Is it not? We'll sort it out. Personal foul. Personal foul, absolutely. First down. Defense. Bullshit. Nothing I can do about the that. Has been made the Nothing I can do. So the offense keeps his drive That's alive such, thanks man. to dropping the punter penalty. Movement here from the tight end. On the run, it's Hunt. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. That's a really nice play. It's impressive. When it's first down and the defense thinks you might be running the football, you still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running back. The give to the tailback. And he's able to shed one tackle, but still, just a very short game. And as an offense, having success on a run play like that early in the game just opens up all of the possibilities of your playbook moving forward. Play action. I completely cleared out from where I just was. If I already just stayed where I was, would have tackled him probably. Man. Create a tackle for a loss or a sack or something to get momentum back on my side. And they're able to shove him to the turf as they stop him for a short game. After the three yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Softened him up with a run. Now to throw. Got him. Yes. That's what I needed right there. Quarterback. He really has to sell the fake. He can't tell. His offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. Let's go. They'll Wait. snap it for the tenth time on this drive, but they need third and seventeen. Third and long. He's looking downfield to throw. Safe completion on the screen. Good. They play that 
if anything, held him to a field goal attempt. Lord, don't go after him. So the big penalty leads to a three-point swing. to go in the first half just got to put together a nice drive here try and get another seven that's a nice run eight yards so if you're on offense this next drive take a look at their safeties and see if they're creeping up into the box because of your success running the football this might be time to take a shot down the field and play action he'll blow it down Great run. Saw the gap, hit it, gone. Can run so fast. Think about who you've got chasing them. Defensive linemen, those big old defensive teams. Right there. Defensive ends, linebackers. Saw it, hit it, gone. Faster than them nowadays. So much speed, so much electricity now with these guys. I thought about sliding, but then I was like, I might have a chance to uh, actually just break it the whole way up the sideline if I can get around that guy, but. He took a good angle. Caught me. Just a yard there. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into... Two-minute warning, is it? It's a two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can tack a little yeah. something extra on their lead before the break. Here comes the offense on second down. Back to throw, it's Kelly. Quick nice block. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. All right, defense, it ain't working. Right. They're stringing together several first downs here. We're going to need to change this up, find something we can disrupt the quarterback and, and mess up this offense a little bit. Another first down. Or oh, nope, second and inches. Close, though. As you can get to that marker, and it will be second and just a few breaths away from the first down. They'll give it to the back. There we go. First down. Plenty of time still left. Don't need to rush anything. Just take my time. Defense is backed up. If anything, I could run some clock here. I don't want to leave them any time on the clock. There's no point. I'd rather have the final say off of this. zone is the running game make guys commit near the line of scrimmage so I can throw behind this defense is good but I'm gonna challenge them I'm, I'm gonna try to be the more physical team I love the play call I think you keep running the football and stay physical The run up the middle trying to find it takes it in the there we go I was gonna go with the for that pass across the middle but at the last second I was like you know what I got time left so I had time for one more run even if it didn't get it in to still have plenty of time so plus it's right all my time out so I was able to kind of dictate how the end of this quarter happened and uh yeah 
Almost milked every second off the clock. There we go. Eight plays, 80 yards. Good drive. Don't want to kick this too deep. Want to make them force it running out. Yep. Perfect. 11 seconds to go. Try to put points on the board right before the half. Leaves it with the running back. Nothing much there. They're not going to take a timeout, so they're just going to let the clock run down here. Take it to halftime. I'm going to try one more play. Oh, ball came out, but it was not a fumble. But was a big old sack. So there we go. Well, let's hope we can have the same defense we had in this first half because that was a pretty dominant, pretty dominant performance. If it wasn't for that big penalty on the uh, roughing the punter, they wouldn't have any points on the scoreboard most likely right now. Defense has got a good beat on what they're doing, especially if they don't mix it up a little bit. So I do mm. think for a little second half running the football palm right of this group. And I think the thing, Dave, is they just got to be more physical. I don't think this is a scheme question about trying different run plays. I think it's up to the big fellas up front. They've just got to make the decision that they're going to be tougher here in the second half so that they can win this game. Did he hold on? And he goes eh, he kept feet in, too. Man. All right. from the offense try to get the edge with a quick touch pass brought down to the ground but he has enough for the first down just work with something very easy very reliable flip it forward let your receiver do the rest I only got to get a few yards nice job nice execution first down got him that's what you expect from a senior don't give them any extra yards great tackle there got three on first down at second and seven They'll go to the ground. Guys. And yeah, big old hole left open there. And I love this, David, too. Regardless of whether they're losing or they're winning. Good. No gain there. Good, good, good. Get this run game established. We love to see that from the defense, right? It's like bend, don't break. They've given up a bunch of plays on this drive, but now that they're getting down close to field goal range, you're seeing them start to stiffen up. Yeah, and plays don't matter anymore. Yards don't matter. Oh, All that almost had another sack. Points and limiting. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't not free for a fumble. It'll be third down. All right, here we go, third and ten. Hold them here. Not to get the first down here. Oh yeah, just knock it down. Beautiful. 
defense got themselves in a tough Talent. situation. Oh, shoot. Long, so hard to execute. Do not the field rough the strength. punter. The good news is they got a field goal in their back pocket. God dang it, he did it again. God. Personal foul. Come on, man. Come on. So the offense keeps this drive alive thanks to the roughing the punter penalty. Back to pass, it's Navarro. Nice defense. That's a ball that this offense should be able to complete. They had the coverage they wanted. Receiver ran on the route. Just an inaccurate throw by the quarterback. Offense gets set for second down. Come on, get a turnover. The aerial assault continues. Or not. Grabbed in the middle. It's McCormick. He gets it all the way down to the five yard line. A terrific catch and run before he stopped. Well, it's a nice play design there. You're getting the running back involved in the pass game. Quarterback gives it to him early so he can go to work upfield and get the first down. They'll keep it on the ground for first and goal. Get off your damn block. Oh man. I'm so sick and tired of those penalties on the punt. I even was trying to get to that player because I saw him coming to control him and steer him out of the way, but didn't have time to do it. So ridiculous. Man. Oh, that's frustrating. Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense. They have to execute at a high level. They've got to score points, David, but they can't go too fast because their defense right now... Ah, oh, shit. No, we got ourselves a game. Come on, pick it off, pick it off, pick it off. Nope, wide open. Mm, 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 mm. Turning to the running game on first yeah. goal. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. Here we go. Offense right. trying to pay it off on second and goal. Oh my god. The defense got into the neutral zone, and that'll be a first <laughs> down. Defense. You know, if it was me making these penalties, I wouldn't have one problem with it at all. But when the computer just continues to screw you, had them back up I cannot stand that. It's so frustrating. Can the defense stop Nothing I can do about it. Nothing you can do. Get him. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no gain land. Yeah, you want to be physical. You want to assert yourself. And I listen, I know this is a top five defense against the run in college football, but you got to believe you can do it and continue to Come stay on. balanced and run the football Hold them. and be physical down here in the red zone. Shit. God damn it. I hate when I do that. Almost 
almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. Mm, almost going to break the whole damn thing. All right, just got to stay controlled here. I'm still only down by one score. Take the lead back. Plenty of time. There we go. I was actually surprised he got ran down. Nice run there. By the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. Eight yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and short. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. The Cardinals will snap it on first and ten. They're gonna ride this running back. He bullies his damn right, I am. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. They'll leave it with him. Oh, I thought I got in there. Oh, my goodness. I honestly don't know how I didn't get in there. But whatever. But so too is time as we open the fourth. Hey. They'll try to open the quarter by cashing in on this big opportunity deep in the red zone. Hey. Quarterback sneak trying to get a push. Touchdown, Cardinals! They move on top here in the fourth. And this offense really showing their physicality, running the football when it matters in the fourth quarter in crunch time to take the lead in this football game. Look at that. Didn't even run a second off the clock. But basically, I got it done. So I wanted to score before the end of the third quarter. So basically, I did. If he can make this one, the lead will be three. And it's good. And he's got the lead up to three late. All right. So that scoring drive now it's just defense. Play. Keep doing what they've been doing. It's the penalties that have killed me and my defense. Put them in a bad situation. So I've got confidence the defense can just keep doing what they've been doing. They should work out just fine. Ohio takes over the Bobcat offense, heads to the field. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. He'll keep it himself. I think there's a hold. Brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. Hold it. Open. Now I'm gonna have to look at this because with that sack, uh, yeah, I want to decline. So the penalty will take the sack. The defense declines. It stands on the result of the play. And here comes the offense on second down. Oh my! Didn't maintain its discipline there, and they get into the neutral zone. It'll cost them five yards. Neutral zone infraction. Defense. Defense way. Oh my God! The entire playbook just opens up before the eyes of this offensive coordinator. These guys in a much better position after that penalty on the D. Now it's second and seven. Looking for space. It's Hunt. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. That linebacker was a heat-seeking missile, and the heat that he sought was the ball carrier. Yeah, great job. Great feel. Linebackers are making all the calls in the defense and understanding when I need to come through that gap and come through with bad intentions. Those guys are usually 245 pounds of heat seeking. Got him. Got him. Yes. Nice run. Rips off now. On the play, but it brings up a fourth and two. Punt safely here. Do not charge a punter. Jesus, oh, Pete. No, there you go. Nobody rushing the punter. You'll feel the punt and try to make something happen. He gets it up to the 34 yard line before he right. stops, and that's where the offense will set up shot. All right, guys, so here's the offense back on the field again. 
How about that blocking up front in that running game last time as they just walked it down for a touchdown, David? And the big boys up front doing their job. Opening holes, the backs making plays, everything on the ground on that first drive worked. And we know that this is the identity this coaching staff wants for this team, right? They want to be the most physical team. On oh, they can't. They can't stop my running game. It's been going all day. Ooh, almost got the first down, but it was short. Oh, yeah. For 4,000 years. Obviously, some exaggeration, but so hard to stop. Quarterback gets it, starts to burrow behind that offensive line, and now you got the push behind with these guys. It's almost impossible to stop. Leaves it with the back. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few. All right, guys, I just realized I forgot to put my chats up. So I'm going to make sure nobody's chatting with me here. Looks like we're good. Coming up on second down as they try to hold this lead. To the ground with the back. They knock him down at the 40. Oh, but yeah. He picks up five, and it'll be enough for a first down. Man, it's so nice to have a guy that you can depend on. Like, this, this offense is built around him for a reason. Just a, a good running back. You can see, gets north south, doesn't dance, picks up positive yards. I was going to run to the right, but I kind of like the opening here to the left. It looks like I might have. Running back searching for a hole. That opening. <laughs> I thought it looked kind of light over there. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Sure. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. Well, the defense didn't blitz. They didn't have everybody in gaps, and the offensive line took advantage at the point of attack, getting some. Let's be honest, when you're picking up seven yards almost every run, there's really no reason to pass. So, as much as I'd like to pass here, try some stuff out. As much as I've been screwed with penalties, I'm gonna just take the uh, take the win here, any way I can get it. Alright, now we'll pass. Didn't get much on first down. It's second See if and it's nine. still open here. Looking to throw, it's Kelly. <gasps> oh, God. Oh, I thought that was going to get picked off. Oh, I saw that guy standing right there. Thank goodness I put a little touch on it to get it over that. Well, I don't know if it was a safety. I'm guessing it was a safety standing there. Or linebacker. Oh, Lord. Short and try to bleed the clock, but this offense, man, it's still pedal to the metal. They're looking for chunk play opportunities. And the Cardinals with the first and ten. So two-minute warning. The gift to the back. Well, they couldn't do much there. Ohio's going to have to start using their timeouts here. Stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Going and I can still technically get another first, first down before down even uh, again, scoring, so I could run a lot of clock down here. I get another first down. Oh, so close. <laughs> but see, now what makes sense is don't score get the first down and let them use their last time out so even though i could probably get a touchdown here i'm not going to i'm gonna get the first down now they gotta use their last time out so now they're cleaned out and now 
And I know that defense. I could too, technically dive and create a pile, but it's so hard to kneel the ball that. here, That's but that'd be playing a little so bit so too risky. And a chance perhaps to salt this game away if this offense can pay this off with a late touchdown. Oh, you just moved them more in. Perfect. Oh, maybe not. Okay. All right. They read that one right. And the offense trying now to put this thing away. They're going to keep running the football to keep bleeding the clock. They've got the And the thing is, that, I mean, yeah, they stopped me, but that actually works out because now I can just let the clock run down more. Before snapping this football and keep running. Again, a tough game, but honestly, guys, this one, penalties that I had nothing to do with. <laughs> That's what makes it so hard. Like I say, if that was me physically hitting the punter or physically jumping off sides, and hell yeah, that's on me. But when it's the computer controlling it, there's nothing you can do. Ooh, I didn't get that one in either. Actually, I think I won this game no matter what anyways, but I'm going to try and force it in here. Third and goal here. Main thing I'm going to try and do is get this to the very center of the field to uh, make my field goal easy if I have to settle for that. Trying to get it done Got it. There we go. There we go. you want your offense to do you want it to eat clock but if you score go up by two possessions nail meat coffin great execution by this offense to put this game away yeah no timeouts left for ohio Except for the point after and the extra point extends the lead to double figures at 10. They held the ball for 15 plays on that touchdown drive. Six minutes and 16 seconds off the clock. That's how you control the clock. Motion to run it out. And the return man has no place to run, no place to hide, and a place to be tackled. The Ohio U offense returns to the field. It's a long shot, I know, but you have to keep fighting till the bitter end, Jesse. They call it a long shot for a reason because they've still technically got a shot. I know it's not great, David, but let's see these guys fight to the end. It's not great, but keep fighting. Keep spinning that pill around. Use every second on this clock to try to get this game as close as you can. Now it's second and 10 from the 15. To throw, it's Navarro. And that's just a flat misfire, not even close to his receiver. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long back to uh, the oh, oh. And Why not? Sure, why not? Too eager there, got into the neutral Improved zone, and that'll be a five-yard penalty. <sighs> why not? Defense a little too eager, and that's an encroachment right, penalty, right. five yards for the offense. So third and short from inside the 20. You convert here, and this drive takes on a different complexion. Didn't have much of a choice. Just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. Yeah, a nice play by the defense. Third and short, you're thinking run most of the time, but a really nice job playing tight on the wide receivers, playing the pass, and giving no space for the offense. Down by multiple possessions. They can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth. He puts a lot of air under it down the sideline. And that pass will be incomplete, and time has run out on this game. Winning can become a habit. Now they've won back-to-back -back games and probably building a little confidence. And you want it to be a habit. That's what you talk about as a coach week after week. Let's build. Let's create. Another good game by Charlie Spiegel. 26 carries, 184 yards, two touchdowns. You never know where you could be, what dreams you could to 
of these last two games, it hasn't always been easy. They've had to overcome some adversity, but at the end of the day, they were able to step up, make the plays necessary, and do that. Very, very impressive. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football. So what can I say? Got the win. Excited about that. Got a lot of uh, unnecessary penalties. Not so happy about that. But, um, hey, you know, we got it done. And uh, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to finish the season strong, go into a bowl game, check, check. Now, I want to win the bowl game. Whichever bowl game it is, I want to win it. And then, like I said, I think that'll really kind of show that after all was said and done, I finished with a pretty good season after uh, the start that I had where it looked like I wasn't going to win a game at all. It, got, it was ugly uh, right from the beginning. But it's just frustrating for me, guys, with those penalties. I, I, I get it as part of the game. But, man, those are just ridiculous. I mean, especially the running in the punter. Because, one, it hardly ever happens. So to have it happen two punts in a row... Come on, like that's just, that's not real. It's just not. And uh, like I say, the second one, because it's the same punt coverage I, I call every time. It's it's just, yeah, okay, punt return, whatever. I just press a button, we go. So I've never had to worry about it. But when I hit it that second time after the first penalty, I should have just called a timeout because I think you probably heard me say, oh, no. <laughs> and that's because I realized I just, Press the same punt coverage I did last time. So I was like, well, I'll just, you know, go over to that guy and control him as soon as I can. And then just peel him off the the punter. But unfortunately, I couldn't toggle over to him in time. And he did it again. So just frustrating that in the offsides. I mean, because that's the stuff that, look, if you're in a big game for, let's say, a championship... And the game starts doing that to you after you've played all season to, you know, win a championship or something. And then something like that's going to dictate whether you win or lose. That would be really frustrating. So that that's why I don't like it. I mean, I get it. This game doesn't really mean a whole lot, but it still was a win I wanted to get. But I'm just always thinking on a bigger scale. Like if that shit were to happen during a championship game, then yes, I would absolutely be livid because that's taking the game out of your hands. There's nothing you can do about it. But saw some good stuff uh, from this team again. Um, I'm really starting to get a rhythm with this team. The quarterback being able to uh, pass the ball and, and all that stuff and, and then run it still. He's just getting better in every aspect of the game. So I want to run through the stats real quick here. Let's take a look how... We did compete, compare, um, again, I would say 10 of those points that Ohio put up shouldn't have even happened because 10 of them came off of basically the penalties that allowed them to move down the field. Um, but whatever it is, they got in. So, you know what? I should have stopped them at the goal line, I guess, but it's still frustrating. Um, but look at that first downs, 20 to nine. Total yards of offense, 317 to 117. That might have been the fewest yards I've given up all season uh, in a game. Rushing, 260 more rushing yards, three touchdowns. Held them to 44 rushing yards. Uh, yards per rush, look at that. Two yards for them per rush. Mine, 6.8. So damn near seven yards every time he ran the ball is what he was averaging. Uh, completions on attempts, look at that, five of eight. So very accurate, didn't throw a whole bunch, but when I did, it was effective. And that's, that's what I, that's all I need to worry about. Uh, 57 yards total passing yards is all I got. So that's kind of crazy. 73 is all they got. Uh, third downs, four of five for me, two of eight for them. Fourth downs, one of one, oh for one on them. Red zone. Four touchdowns. If I make it in the red zone, I'm scoring touchdowns. Uh, them, two. Two trips to the red zone, two touchdowns. Uh, turnovers, two. 
So yeah, they had two against me. Uh, both were interceptions. Yes, penalties right here. This one I wanted to see. Five penalties for 41 yards. But it's even bigger than that. It's like, oh, for, well, 41 yards. Yeah, but it two of them led to immediate first downs after they should have been punting. That's the part you don't see on that. So that was huge. And then time of possession. Of course, I win that again because I'm controlling the run game. Almost 19 minutes to 13. So pretty sizable there too. Good control of the game. Good control all game long, really. Um, dominated the first quarter. Basically, didn't really even give them much play time in the first quarter at all. And uh, so, yeah, good stuff. We completed it. First regular season in the books. I completed what I said I was going to do in my contract. So you would think that would all have to fare well for me. Um, and now it's just on to, uh, to wait for Percy Mack to play his game and then that will determine uh yeah i was gonna say unless he already did but nope he did not so um i think he said he's gonna get on maybe next week early next week i think he says he's got to work all weekend so uh it could be a little bit until we see that um i'll keep streaming though i'll be streaming the michigan dynasty and uh we'll just wait and see I do want to see if this changed anything with the bowl projection. I doubt it because, like I say, Percy didn't play, which means probably none of the other games. Yeah, same same thing here. The Cure Bowl, Ball State, South Alabama. Um, and then I want to also see North, yeah, Northern Illinois. Oh, they're... Game probably didn't get played yet either. Let me see. Did it? Nope. So, because they're ahead of me in the uh, rankings is what I was asking about with that. Um, so, if we go to conference standings, go to the MAC. Right there. Northern Illinois at 7-4. and four. Ball State 7-5. and five. But I believe because they beat me... They would have the tiebreaker. So even if they were to lose, I believe they're going to hold on to the number one spot because I believe the first tiebreaker is head to head. And they did. They whooped me. So, um, yeah, I'll probably just settle, settle in second place. Uh, I do want to see how Percy Mack is doing. Five and six. He's currently in fourth place. And I believe he said he has to win to get in a bowl. So if he does not win that last game, he will not be in a bowl. So that's a big game for him. If you guys uh, want to check out Percy Mack, you can definitely go to Twitch and search Percy Mack, P-U-R-C-Y-M-A-C-K, and uh, give him a follow and definitely uh, possibly view his last regular season game as well as he attempts to make a bid for a bowl game. Um, and then, again, before we wrap this up, I just want to thank you guys. Uh, don't forget, follow the Twitch, follow the kick, uh, go subscribe to Rumble, whatever you got to do. All the links were there in the cover art uh, as we open the show. And uh, I will also put them, of course, in the description box below the video if you're watching this on Rumble. Uh, but I, I just really support or uh, appreciate it, appreciate the support. Uh, because the algorithms, when you guys give thumbs up and you give likes and you give follows and all that, that's what really pushes the network to grow. And I've said this all along is I don't want to run ads that products I don't believe in or products you guys don't care about just to try and make a quick buck. My thing is I want to grow this thing uh, just from the grassroots through you guys. And uh, the easiest way to do that is just make sure that you're uh, liking the videos, sharing the videos, and subscribing to the channels. That's all I ask. But uh, until next time, guys, and, and real quick, I should say this too. I'm planning to be really busy this weekend, hopefully, uh, with podcasting and streaming. So there might be a lot of content coming out. And that's why it's always a good thing if you're following the Rumble channel. Uh, you will get updates in your email when new shows come out. So... 
that's that's a real reason why you really should go to uh, Rumble, search HH Network, and follow the channel. Because that's going to be the way that you will make sure you don't miss anything. And then you can also just go to heavyhitternetwork.org and see uh, all the new shows up over there as well. So either place is highly recommended. But yes, I'm hoping to uh, get a lot of content out this weekend. We'll see if I can make that happen. Uh, but that is the plan as of right now. And like I say, until Percy Mack plays his game, uh, I will be streaming more of College Football 25, but it will be the dynasty that I have with the Michigan uh, Wolverines. So look forward to those coming in the next few days, probably even maybe as soon as tomorrow night. Um, but again, I will be sending out reminders or heads up if I am going to through the Facebook group page. So again, Facebook group is another place you could uh, go and follow. And that is X stream with the logo right there behind me. Um, if you go to Facebook, type in X stream group or X stream, um, that logo should pop up, go and follow us over there. That's where I definitely put out the heads up of, Hey, I'm going to be streaming tonight at this time. And uh, it's just a good way to give you a quick heads up. So that's going to do it. Thank you everybody. And until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. Good night, everybody. Ash.